It is 2022 and diabetes care is informed by a methodologically sound, extensive database of high quality evidence. This was not achieved easily. It grew from the insistence of providers, regulators, and diabetes organizations on large outcomes trials. Recognition that the cost of these trials is dwarfed by the cost of diabetes itself and funding of these trials by governments and by pharma. And what have these trials shown? They've shown that good glycemic control reduces many of the serious consequences of diabetes, that good diabetes care starts with diabetes prevention, that good diabetes care mitigates much of the harm caused by diabetes, and that some drugs do more than just lower glucose. And ongoing analyses of these trials have generated hypotheses supporting new trials on diabetes remission and diabetes-related cognitive impairment, frailty, and cancers. In 2001, I co-edited the book, Evidence-Based Diabetes Care. At the time, the title was more aspirational than it was factual. But now, 21 years later, evidence-based diabetes care truly benefits our patients every day and will one day eliminate the huge health burden that is diabetes.